All right, this is the pellet stove, corn stove, burning waste vegetable oil. We're now using a burner that uh, runs a lot cleaner and needs a lot less maintenance. It uses a steam coil. Uh, it's basically just a quarter inch copper coil there, about 15 feet, including uh, a stretch of uh, the tubing that actually comes out of the stove. It's just pinched in the door and runs up and has a little valve as well as a quick disconnect to take it out of the stove uh, in a one gallon uh, paint can actually that's uh, filled with warm water right now. It actually starts as cold but it stays warm on top of the stove. Uh, it's lightly uh, steaming there now that it's at full temperature but uh, that uh, actually uh, would last uh, a couple days uh, uh, running constantly uh, so you really only need to fill that so you know once a day make sure it's always uh, good and full okay uh, I'm gonna move this to make a little rack it's just a thermoelectric fan it's kind of a toy that's making the noise all right and then here we have another one gallon container that has waste vegetable oil uh, in it. Um, I use a little uh, strainer, just a strainer I need bits that might get caught in the valve. And again, the, the valve I'm using a 3 8 inch uh, copper tube here, but it, um, it's just going to an electric solenoid valve and then to a quick disconnect so that it can be easily also uh, disconnected to remove the. Uh, actual burner and then the quarter inch tubing which comes into the door and inside the firebox burning nice and hot um, actually you start the stove on pellets as I mentioned before but uh, once it gets nice and hot like this I um, tend to turn the pellets off um, sometimes uh, I'll leave the pellets on just like a one uh, setting. The solenoid kicks in every time the auger turns on so whatever I'm using uh, for a setting on the auger I compensate with the valve with the right amount of oil uh, so that I'm not burning too hot. Of course since it's wired to the auger if for some reason the stove gets too hot um, or the power goes out the oil stops immediately until uh, the situation is corrected, so it's kind of an automatic uh, safety. Uh, and then I just have a, a connector that goes to the auger, um, and it's just all outside the stove, and it just runs back to the auger there. That's about it. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it turns out now I've got to clean the burner every few days. What I generally do is just. Um, I'm going to sweep it out because it's just ash that builds up in there sometimes, even with the steam. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a build up.